Hello, this is Sean Woodell from Heavenly Soaps and Such, and today I am going to make a batch of laundry detergent. Uh, I'm not using my KitchenAid for that. I'm, I'm going to make some shea body butter as soon as I'm done. So, um, for the laundry detergent, I'm basically just going to use coconut oil and lye, which is KOH, which is potassium hydroxide for liquid soap and then the water. That's all I'm going to do um, um, for that. I had tried a version of coconut oil before that had alcohol in it and it had protein. Well, I say protein. It was meat tenderizer that kind of um, is supposed to eat away at protein. And I really didn't like the alcohol smell uh, that was left in the the detergent even though I never really smelled it on the clothes I just really didn't care for that and when you were making it it was just really really strong so I've, I've decided just to go um, to the plain coconut oil laundry detergent now this container here does say lard I'm not even sure if you can see it uh, it does say lard but that's not lard that is uh, what I have um, transferred my coconut oil into so, the first thing I'm going to do is um, get my stainless steel pot. Now, anytime you're making anything with um, using lye, don't use aluminum. You need to, because the lye will interact with the, um, react with the aluminum. So, you want to make sure that you're using stainless steel. So, I have my stainless steel pot here. I'm going to put it here on the scale, and I'm hoping that this is going to work with just putting it straight in there. I'll have to wait and see. If it doesn't, I'll um, have to do it another way, but we're going to try it. Okay? Alright, so, first thing what I'm going to need is I'm going to need four pounds of coconut oil. I might do six, but I, I'm thinking I'm just going to do four. I teared out my scale to zero. So what I'm going to do is just start putting it in. Okay, and this um, coconut oil is really, really cleansing. Um, it does a great job at cleaning the clothes. I have found if you have something that looks real dingy and um, you just can't get it clean, even stains on something or something just doesn't look quite clean, I can put it in a um, bucket with some coconut oil and let it sit for a day and just stir it occasionally and with hot water of course and it comes out looking I mean really really clean and even if um and, and that's for an item that you can't do a spot a spot um treatment now if it's just one little spot that's fine but sometimes our little boy he um that's two pounds sometimes our little boy gets really really dirty because he works with my husband and it doesn't matter. He gets grease, and I can wash them and treat the spot. If, if you treat it, you got to treat the whole shirt, so it's like ridiculous. But I have found if I just take a small bucket and put some in it, and I'll even put a little bit of Dawn dish detergent down in there, and a little bit of baking soda, and a little bit of um, alcohol, and a little bit of um, hydro um, hydroxide. Peroxide, I'm sorry, peroxide, and, but it'll it'll clean it up nicely. All right, now that's three, almost four pounds. Okay, four pounds. And I'm thinking I want to do a triple batch, so I'm going to go ahead. This was a double batch with four, so I'm going to go ahead and do the the six. Because I like to do this and have gallons of at least three, three gallons of it. Ooh, okay. Okay, I'm getting there. There's a big chunk here, so this is probably going to take me over the edge. Six 
Hang on. Let's get some more of it out. Okay, went a little too far. Oop, perfect. All right. So that is six. And I'm going to try to make a note this time of how much it makes because I can't ever remember which, which one I did. Um, when I make it, I'll... Next time I'll be like, well, how much did I make? I can't remember if I made just double batch or triple batch. So anyway, I'm going to write this down. That I'm going ahead and doing a triple batch. Okay, so. I'm going to have to figure out how much line stuff I'm going to need. So, let's see, 2, 6, 8, 16, 24, 8, okay, which is 1 pound, 16, 9.8, okay? And then water will be um, seventy-seven point four ounces, which is Four pounds can okay, make sure that's right forty sixty four seventy four okay And then I'll figure that out in a minute. Okay. All right. So I've got it figured out. All right. So I have six pounds of the coconut oil in here. And I'm going to just sit this right here on the floor so it'll kind of be out of the way. All right. Now I'm going to need four pounds, 13.4 ounces of water. And I'm not sure um, what kind of a container I'll need for that. But we'll try this one. Put this one over here. I'm going to tear it out. <clears throat> oh, tear it out. It's not tearing out. There it goes. All right, it's on zero. I'll put you down there where you can see. All right, got it on zero. I'm going to go ahead and add my water. Like I said, I'm one pound, 9.8. Nope, that's a lot. Four pounds, 13.4. And I'm sure I'm probably going to need all that. Yeah. Okay. Finish this up. Four pounds. Thirteen point five. I can do out one little drop. I don't think that really matters, but it's still point five. Okay, that. 13.2, 13.5, all right, we'll leave it there. all right, because I need 13.4, but that's good. Okay, so I have that on there. Of course, you always want to wear your gloves. Okay, 
then I am going to need a whole pound. This is two pounds. So I'm going to need almost all of this. But I'm going to go ahead and move this. Let me put this out of the way. And I'll save that water force uh, dilution for adding at the later stages. All right. No. No, I won't go there. Okay. Put that on here. I'm going to tear it out. And it's down to zero, and I need one pound nine ounces. One pound nine point eight, actually. Almost there. Oops, 9.8. <clears throat> 1 pound, 9.8. 1 pound, 9.8. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and open the window because it does give off some fumes that I don't like to smell. I can already, I already felt myself kind of choking up a little bit just from that. All right. So, and I don't have any children in the house. So we're good, no animals to worry about. So if I leave that sitting there, it's fine. Even though I wouldn't, because I'd be scared I would knock it off. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to add this in carefully. And you can add it quickly. I just don't wanna splash. Okay. Now you're gonna hear it. I'm actually going to rinse it out, rinse off my gloves since I've touched it, and we're good. Alright, now what I'm going to do is stir it, so you can hear that. I'm going to move this. You hear me sliding the pot. Sorry about that. I'm going to move this over to the sink. breeze blowing in nicely so it's going to be fine sitting over there for a few minutes okay now I am going to do this on the um, stove so grab this pot I'm gonna go through don't pay attention to my mop bucket I'm trying to clean up Oop. okay I'm gonna sit this here I'm going to put that on the stove. And no one's home, so it's nice and quiet. Um, I'm going to try to get, definitely get where you can see. And of course, I think that's as far as, as far as it's going to go. Yep. Okay. And it's all the way up. So, I may just kind of, Lean you in like that. All right. So there we have it. Um, I am going to go ahead and turn this on. Um, it's the front. I'm going to turn it on. Not high because I don't want it to get really, really hot. And I'm going to bring you back in exactly five minutes because I'm not going to wait on that live water to cool down. Um, I am going to give you five minutes for this to heat up and I'm going to get my stick blender and stuff and then I'll bring you back in five minutes.
Okay, I am back. And it is not melted completely, but that's okay. The lye water is um, nice and clear. I hope you can see that. It's nice and clear. So I'm going to go ahead and carefully pour it in. And you really can't see me. I'll put it up here where you can see me. Try not to pour it too fast because I don't want it to splash. But it really doesn't matter if you're doing a small bunch batch and you can pour it faster, that's fine. I just don't want it to splash down into the pot. So I'm kind of pour it as fast as I can without risk of splashing. Okay. And I'm going to carry this straight to the sink and go ahead and dilute everything, rinse it out nice, clean. Okay. That's sit over there. Okay. Um, now what I'm going to do is go ahead and start stick blending. And I am going to turn this down with the knob that's on the end of it. And I'm just so tickled that I figured out that this will, um, and it's hard to do with my glove. I'm going to see how that works. And it might be a little too weak. Anyway, we'll, we'll let it up. Oh, and I know I'm in the way. I'm going to kind of try to, let me turn it up just a tad. There we go. Ooh, let me make sure I keep that off of the burner. Put it up there like that. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix, blend this to emulsification until it's emulsified. And then I'm going to let it sit just probably five minutes. And then I'll probably go ahead and add in my dilution water. Because if this is is runny, the coconut oil, the coconut soap is going to be runny anyway. I'm not after thickness. I'm after something that will clean really good or really well. And um, I don't add fragrance to it or anything because a lot of the essential oils don't, well, the essential oils don't last through the washing process. I can put them on my wool dryer balls and get some scent on the clothes that way. But any kind of a, um, essential oil I put in here is going to just wash away and it's just a waste of money. Now, I, I haven't tried fragrance oils because I don't want to do the fragrance oils on the skin. But um, you might try that and find that it works great. Now, if you want it just to smell for the sake of smelling when you put it in the clothes and while the clothes are washing, that's up to you. But that's just not what I'm aiming for so um I don't I don't want that so I just I don't I don't do that but that's up to you now like I said this is gonna be the plain coconut oil and this is the coconut oil liquid coconut oil that I use for cleaning um I put it in spray bottles and we clean the bathroom we clean the sinks the commodes um I also use it for spot cleaning um clothes for spots and this is also the coconut oil that I put in the bucket if I'm soaking an entire garment, an entire shirt, or a pair of socks that just got really, really dingy. And after washing them, they still don't look great. I'll just soak them in, in that. And also for those monthly accidents. Oops, did I say that? Yes, I did. Those monthly accidents where things happen, the bucket works great for soaking and getting out any kind of a spot. All right, now this is appears to be emulsified nicely. Now, what I don't want to do is I don't want to stick blend this to the point. If you've ever made liquid soap, I don't want paste. I don't want to stick blend it till it becomes a paste and then then dilute it. I want to just dilute it all at the same time. And if you're doing a liquid soap, um. For like shampoo or something or hands I suggest maybe that you try do the paste first get your numbers down figure out what works 
your uh, amount, amount of water that, that you need to start with and then you could move to a one step. It's not really one step because it still goes through the steps, but... Okay, I think this is done. So mollify nicely. Okay. And all the oils appear to be mixed in. Um, I don't see any floating oils. Just going to get the top. Make sure that the top is blended in like that. I don't want to splash, but I do want to get the top surface. Because that's where the oils will float if there's any left. And I know that you, you can make the powdered, but I'll be honest, I find this easier to do and easier to handle than the powder. I just, because I mean, if you do the powder with the soap, you have to make the coconut soap, and then you have to um, chop it up and grind it and grate it and powder it, and I, I just, I just find this is easier. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I've already measured out my water. I'm going to go ahead and carefully pour it in. I don't want any splashing. Okay. That's not all of it, but that's just part of it. I'm going to blend this. And it's going to be really, really milky white. Um, oh, it's tiring. I'm going to turn it up a little. Yep. And I've still got the pot on. Now, the only thing that you want to be careful is that you don't want to let it really boil to the point it will start creeping out the pot. And I don't want that to happen, so I have, hmm, I think I'm going to pour some of this in the pitcher then, rather than okay. just another pitcher full, and again, you want to be very careful. I'm going to pour it down the stick blender. There we go. I'm going to blend it a little bit, and I still have some more water. I'm thinking this will make about three gallons, but we'll see. And this will be really clear when you're done. Get clear soap. Won't be good for your hands though, because it'll be really stripping, uh, really cleaning. Ooh, a fly. Seems like you can't open the door around here without a fly popping in. Coming right in. So I'm gonna go ahead, pour it down, just carefully pouring. I'll pour it a little faster because the liquid is me is coming to the top, so it's um, it's not as as much of a danger of splashing out as it was. I'm going to stir it.
Now you can do as, as little as you want of this, but I just don't like having to do one, one gallon, one gallon. I mean, it's the same, and I'm going to use it no matter what. It doesn't go bad. So I prefer to just um, make it a big batch and get it over with. Next time I may even go uh, another batch in it. We'll see. All right, so there he is. I'm going to leave my stick blender back there just in case I have to do anything to it. I don't think I am. I have the stove um, right there. I have it. It's a three burner, but I only have it on two burners on. And I have it uh, around a six, a little bit past the six maybe. Um, and you can see, actually, the burner's not really on right now. Um, so I might turn it up just a little. But I'm going to leave, oh, now, let me back out, I'm going to leave it here, and um, I'm going to bring you back, I'm going to go get my nice long stick, the wood stick that I use in the laundry room, and bring it in here, um, and I'll bring you back probably in about 15 minutes just to kind of check and see how things are going. Go ahead and do 15 minutes on the timer. So I'll remember, and I'll bring you back to check on it in 15 minutes. Okay, this is Sean Woodell from Heavenly Soaps and Such. Today I'm going to be making some shea body butter um, shea, with shea butter, and I call it shea body butter, but it does have shea butter, coconut oil, almond oil, and it also has, um, I put a little bit of beeswax in it, and it, it just kind of works great to do the beeswax in it. So I um, just do that. Um, this is a container that has been sitting up for quite a while. Now this is unscented. So it doesn't have any scent to it. But it smells fine. It stays, it has held its shape, which is really, really nice. I haven't worried, had to worry about it dissolving back down. So what I have in here, I have my coconut oil and I've already dropped my beeswax in it and I realized ah, I'm supposed to be videotaping. So I have that in there. Um, here is my shea butter. I'm going to go ahead and I just kind of smashed it down in the cup. I'm like, ah, I'm have a hard time getting it back out. I can, but I need to get a spoon or something to think. Okay, there we go. Let me get a spoon. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add um, this in and um, then I'm going to add it into my bowl and this is the bowl to my KitchenAid blender or mixer, I'm sorry, which is what where I usually um, make it and I think if I'm not mistaken, the time before I, when I made it, I've always heated it and then poured it in here and I thought, you know, I'm not doing that. I'm just going to put everything in the pot, I mean in the bowl, and then I'm going to put it over some hot water and let the bowl get really, really hot until it melts everything in it. So this is works out really, really nice. Now it is a body butter, so it, it is a little thicker. And a little bit more of a greasy feel on your skin. <laughs> it does um, kind of disappear. But you can still tell that you have something on your skin. If that makes sense. It's not like it's just like laying there. Okay, so I have my coconut oil, my shea butter, and my beeswax. Now I'm going to put in my almond oil. Ahead and put that in. There we go. I'm gonna put this there. All right. So there we have it. So what I'm going to do is I am going to go ahead and I don't have the water ready or anything. I'm trying to do two things at one time. I'm making laundry detergent and this. So what I'm going to do. Let's take this. I'm going to set the bottom over some hot water and just let it kind of sit there and get nice and hot. And I'm going to go ahead and get the water ready and then I'm going to bring it back. 
Okay, I'm back. Um, I did go ahead and put the hot the pot on it to kind of keep some of the uh, moisture in. I'm just gonna kind of give it a quick stir. Now it did start. It popped out one time. It started to kind of like come to a boil, so I turned it down because I don't want it really to boil. I just kind of want it to simmer. Hope that makes sense. Um, but it still has a milky look and you can tell the more I stir the more suds I get so I'm going to put the lid back on that and might turn it up I turned it down to like in between two and four so I think I'm going to turn it up to four and keep an eye on it and I will bring you back okay I took this off of the burner and turn the burner off it was starting to rise up and that's why you have to really keep an eye on it if you're going to have the heat a little more because you don't want it to creep out of the pot so I'm just going to stir 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 like I said I moved it um, if you feel like it's going to pour over you need to put it in the sink um, don't let it pour over on your stove but I think that I think that got it and I probably should still have on gloves so of course if you're stirring it wear your gloves or either just be very very careful because it will burn you as far as the heat and it still has active lye so you can wear your gloves but I, I'll be honest I don't usually and I've had people complain about me not wearing them but if I have to wear them it slows me down from getting my other things done and I just don't have time to do that just for the sake of a YouTube video so please wear your gloves if you have any concerns please wear your gloves just know there's active lye in there if it gets on your hands it's gonna burn you and also it's really really boiling hot so it's just like any other boiling item uh, you don't wear gloves probably when you're stirring something boiling on the stove it's boiling it could burn you you just be really really careful so I'm gonna set it back over on the eye and I'm gonna watch it I did turn it back on I put it back in between the two and the three um, because I really don't want um it to boil over now this does have uh it has an like a a soap smell like a clean soap smell there's no smell um at all and that's what i like about doing just the co the coconut oil soap is that um i don't smell that alcohol cooking and stuff that gives me a headache i'm real sensitive to the smells and things that i breathe in so i, I don't like that with this one, I don't even have to turn the burner on. It just has a clean soap smell. So, I'm going to leave that on. And I did set the timer for 30 minutes. We're down to 24. So, that was how quick it, it kind of came up in just a couple minutes. But I will keep an eye on it. Um, and I'm going to bring you back um, in a few minutes. Okay, just a little tip here. Um, don't put the lid on it. Um, when I put the lid on it completely like this, it did this big bubble thing and popped the lid up. It wasn't boiling over. It somehow popped the lid up, lid up. It scared me to death. It made a loud swish, like splash noise. And it went out on the, um, the stove, a little bit down the stove and around the pot. So, you can see here it's... I'm going to go ahead and get it up. So don't put the lid, if you're going to put the lid on it, make sure that the lid is a little sideways and not completely on the pot. Um, and what I'm doing is I'm just bringing this rag over to the sink and putting some soap in it to make sure that I get everything out of it. So just make sure 
I don't, and like I said, I'm not sure if it was some kind of a gas that it lets off as it cooks because it wasn't a normal, um, a normal type thing with bowling. It was like it had gas or something it just had to come out. It had to go somewhere. So, um, I'm going to sit this toward the edge so I can wipe off the bottom. Okay. Turn it around. So I can see that it's still on the bottom of the pot. And I don't want it to just sit there and cook into the stove. I'm going to get it off the side. It did kind of come out and boil down. And I probably need gloves on at this point. But I don't have them on. I'm just kind of taking soap and rinsing the rag, swishing it in the rag to get it washed out. And depending on your hands, you may need the gloves on while you do this. Mine will be fine. I don't, it doesn't usually bother me that much. So, all right, so I got that cleaned off. Make sure the pot is cleaned off. Just make sure I'm getting it all off the bottom by turning the pot around. Right, I think I have it all off, so I'm going to put it back on the burner. I am going to take the lid and put it sideways. Um, and I'm actually going to leave it because... Um, it's been 15 minutes, but I need to leave and go get my children. So, I'm going to turn it off, leave the pot sideways. It's not even boiling now. And I'm going to let it sit until I get back, which will probably be about 30, 30 or 40 minutes. So, I will bring you back then. Let's give it one more last, let's give it a stir before I go. Um, you can see that it's still nice and milky. There's no clear. I always make sure I go to the bottom even though there's nothing really to stick because it's going to be fluid. It's going to be liquid. But it's nice and milky, which is which happens when you add water to something that has active light in it. It'll be milky. So, put that there and close that and I'll bring you back. Okay, I'm back and I took a look. I did go ahead and turn, turn this back on. And what I noticed when I uh, looked inside is something that I had forgotten about. If you don't make this that often, you kind of forget. But if you see, it's kind of like clumps of the um, the oil, the coconut oil on the top. And it's not like clumps of paste. So um, it's like clumps of clumps of um, coconut oil. So everything else is dissolved in nicely, um, but that happens um, every time I make it. And what I have to do is I have to end up dipping the stuff off the top, and I just um, either I pour more lye in it and use it that way, or either I throw it away. Normally, I end up pouring more lye in it. But what I want to do this time, just as an experiment, and I've written this down already, is I'm going to take... Um, one paint one ounce of lye and I'm gonna put it in there with that and I'm just gonna rinse the bowl out and you don't ever add water into um lye Okay, you can hear it already dissolving. But what I'm hoping is going to happen is that that's going to um, mix in with the rest of the coconut oil that apparently is on the top. And I'm going to keep an eye on this and I'm going to keep doing it until it's all gone. 
and then I'm going to make a note of how much I need to do so that so that I don't have that happen because it is very very aggravating that every time you do it you have this thick and it's usually you know usually uh, an inch once I get it in the containers um that it, it's just sitting on the top and I don't like that so I'm going to go ahead and do one ounce And I might should have, and some people may say, well, you should have mixed it with water. Maybe I should have mixed it with water, but I've already added the extra water in here. So it's going to mix in with that water. Um, and I'm just kind of stirring it around, making sure that the lye is dissolved. And this is hot water, so, I mean, it's not boiling, but it's really, really hot. And I'm noticing that the lye, the coconut oil that was on the top, that was kind of floating... And I'm guessing it's coconut oil. It's kind of like soap that hasn't saponified. I mean, oils that haven't saponified. They're just kind of trying, maybe, or something. They because they get a little not hard, but just blobs kind of on top. But it's not soap paste. So you anyway, wait. I'm gonna stir this in. Just kind of stir. And then I'm going to let it sit for about 30 more minutes, and I'm going to come back and check it. It had started clearing, but of course this is going to cloud it back up again, and I have turned it back on. Now see, I'm noticing there's some little pieces, but it's nothing like it was. to be gone now but it may settle back up so kind of I'm just making sure that everything is blended in mixed in together Appears to be nice, so maybe one ounce extra of the lye works perfect. We'll see. Okay, I'm gonna put that back in there. I'm gonna put the lid back on it, and I'm not gonna put it on all the way like I did before. I'm gonna leave it cocked to the side. I do have um, the eye on two. So, um, we'll kind of watch it, see how it goes, and I'll bring you back in about 10 minutes. <coughs> okay, I am back. Um, I'm going to take the lid off and <coughs> take a look at it. And a little strangle there, some, some drink. Alright, so I'm going to take the spoon and I don't only really want to stir I just want to scrape away from the edge okay and see I can see now it's not clear yet um, and there is still some stuff on the top nowhere near as much as it was there was but there's still some stuff so I'm gonna stir I think I'm going to get some more, um, a little bit more lye, the KOH, potassium hydroxide, and add it in. I think I'm going to wait one more time. I'm just going to kind of stir it in, stir it as well as I can, get it mixed in. I'm kind of just making sure I stir the top. Kind of use my spoon to kind of splash it around. 
Okay, I still have it on the um on the two. So I'm gonna give it about um, ten more minutes and then decide whether I want to add some more. Um, oop, let me put it to the side. Whether I want to add some more KOH to it or not. Okay, I'll bring you back in about ten minutes. Okay, I'm back with the um, coconut oil soap. I'm going to take a look at it and see how it looks. I'm noticing there's still a little bit of skin of like a stuff on the top. I don't know how to explain it, but it, is, it does look like it's clearing up some. So I did go ahead and I took two ounces of water and one ounce of lye or KOH and I'm going to go ahead and add that in and give it a stir I'm going to rinse this bowl out real quickly come dry this okay. and I'm going to stir And I wrote down that I added two more ounces of water and one more ounce of lye. I really don't think I needed the water, but I went ahead and did it anyway. Okay. And this is KOH, which is potassium hydroxide. Put it in there by the sink. Okay. And what I'm doing is just going to stir it in and see if it... I don't really think I need to use the stick blender, but um, I'm just kind of stir it in and get it incorporated in there. Oh. Get her to go ahead and clean that out. Rinse it out real good. Okay. Mixed it in again. No, the mop, not the mop, not the thing, the mop. And I'm gonna let it sit and let it cook a little bit longer and then I'm gonna come back in about 15 minutes again, just to check it. Now normally I wouldn't have to check this that often and I can sit it to um, put the lid on it, set it to the side, wrap it up in some blankets and let it finish what it's doing but I do I really want to see if I can not adjust this lie amount so that I can um get in the bucket so that I can get the um the stuff off the top where that I won't have that anymore Okay. I think that's enough. I'm gonna put it back on there and let it go for about another 15 minutes. Okay, I'm back. Um, I brought it in here because I feel like it's done. I let it cook for probably another hour. It did dissolve everything off the top. The only thing that's on the top is some bubbles. Um, and it's nice and clear. Um, it will even clear up more, like be a brighter, not brighter, but a more clear. But it is clear. But it'll be clearer tomorrow. So what I do is, and this is just me, you don't have to do this. This is just what I do. I sit it on the floor. And I take this and I... Wrap it up with a towel. Close the door, baby. I wrap it up with a towel. And I just hook the corners into the top so that it kind of just holds it there. Alright. And then what I do is I take another towel, and these are just old towels that I keep in here. Sit it on the top. 
I have another one and see on the top slide it over like this so it's nice and wrapped up um, nice and warm and I usually put a throw on the top of it I don't have the throw in here with me but I will grab it real quickly Okay, what I usually do is just take a throw um, and I just kind of wrap it around it, across the top and around the back. Just kind of tuck it in, um, catch it on the back, back there, and then I just push it into the corner. And then this will sit there until, at least until tomorrow. But um. I will kind of, it may sit there, even if it sits there several days, it'll just sit there and nobody will bother it. And then I'll come back to it um, when I have a chance, hopefully tomorrow. If not, it may be, this is Memorial Day weekend, so it might be Monday. So it may sit there for about four days or whatever, but it doesn't have to. But anyway, I'll bring you back when I open it and let you see what it looks like. 